had the number one overall pick in Alexi Lafreniere. The ping pong ball certainly worked New York's way, and they are excited uh, in the Big Apple. Will they be excited about this team winning a playoff round this year, do you think? Do you think Lafreniere comes in and has that kind of impact? I definitely think the potential's there. And reason being, aside from Lafreniere, who we'll get to, you've got Artemi Panarin that was number two in Hart Trophy last year in the voting. Now, that's for league MVP. He was money for them. Zabana Jad's going to be healthy as well. He, too, had an amazing year for the Blue Shirts last year. You get Strom back in the fold. He, too, was excellent. We're just talking about up front. Now, Kako Kako is going to be a year older, have a, a season of the NHL under his belt. I think he's going to be much better. He slated on that second line right wing. But Rupper, if I look at Lafreniere, I think it's nice where they have him slotted because he can interchange with Heedle from the center ice spot to the wing. And I'm looking for Lafreniere to show some flashes of brilliance. He'll have to learn on the fly, but I think he's going to have a nice impact for him. Yeah, I think people are just going to have to be patient and, and kind of tailor their expectations on what we're expecting from Lafreniere because... This team's going to use them in a, a little bit of a depth role, I think, to start. See what he's capable of grabbing onto and, and holding onto. And, and then once he kind of crosses those bridges, he'll be given the world. He'll be given the keys eventually at some point here. But the bigger thing for me with this New York Rangers team is there are so many guys that had career years mm. last year. That's always hard to duplicate. Mm. You know, our Temi Panarin... I, you could have, you know, I mean, they're talking a hard totally. trophy. As yeah, trophy times. finals. So, yes. Right, our Temi Panarin was unbelievable. Mika was out of this world last year. Talk about their goaltending. Mm -hmm. Shesterkin and Yorgiev were awesome. Adam Fox first on the scene in a big way. So is there going to be a little bit of a, you know, can they sustain that again? Well, I think that's what falls on the shoulders of a Chris Kreider. Mm -hmm. you know, what are you going to get from Phil Pedel? This is a, a young guy they want so much from Pavel Bushnevich. Mm -hmm. uh, some of these other guys are stepping up. If they do... This team will certainly be pushing for a playoff spot. How about 56-game season? Question marks surrounding the youngsters in net because, as you mentioned, given the keys, the young guys have the keys now with Henry Lundqvist uh, gone and in Washington for the time being. But any concern with not having that veteran presence as kind of a, a stabilizing force if things go off the rails? First of all, Hank, if you're watching, we're wishing you the best of luck in your recovery. We yep. know you're on the recovery window right now. So we heard everything was successful. He's a franchise icon, both him and Mike Richter, of course. Now, in the net. Now, things transition. They're going young. They still have one of the best goalie coaches on the planet, and my good buddy, Ben Waller. He's done an outstanding job with these guys. I don't think there's going to be much drop-off. I really think, on a night-to-night -night basis, the Rangers are going to have great goaltending. These guys are energized. The guys love playing in front of them. They know that these are huge boots to fill, but they're not trying to be the next Henrik Lundqvist. They're trying to be the next Georgiev and Shesterkin, and I really think they've got one of the best young duels in the league. I think a lot of that's going to do to their decor as well. What they can do, I, you, I, I would expect a little bit more from Jacob Truba. I think yes. he, he has more to give on the back end. I'll tell you what, though, when you look at this group, we've got the, you know, Tony D'Angelo back in the mix. Uh, I mean, this is a, this is a talented group. I mean, it's a, it's a talented group for the future as well because you got Keandre Miller who's first on the scene here, and, and he looks like he's ready to to be a top four defenseman in this league. So that's going to be really big, I think, to the goaltender's success. Mm -hmm. But the, the, let's keep in mind, too, this team is built not necessarily to win this year. Can they? I mean, are they, they, do they want sure. to? Absolutely. You want to yeah. win every night. But this team is about progression. I think this team's going to hoist a cup in the next three or four years. Let me pick.